what's up guys, Wood here, and this is another episode of Raise Davao, where we raise the profiles of groups, characters and individuals doing amazing things for our city here of Davao City. This is the hot August 14 races. Now this is another drag race event right here held at the Crocodile Park here in Davao City, and today I'm going to introduce you to more of the fastest men and groups doing crazy things with their rides. So anyway, this is Wood. If you don't know who we are, we are here to promote and raise up this beautiful city of Davao. If you don't know us already, come and share this page, like our video, share it with your friends and family. We are here to promote the beautiful city of Davao and the beautiful people of our nation in the Philippines. Anyway, without further ado, I want to take you through this event today and introduce you to some of the coolest and the fastest people of our nation. That's what I mean. This place is exploding, cars are running. Let's get into this, shall we? So right now, the cars are just being prepped for the races upcoming. It is a pretty full event. It's even bigger than the last year, this event. So, but the, everybody is getting ready. There's such a community vibe. It's a pretty cool place to be. If you like fast cars, if you like accessorizing your ride, making them sound big and run fast, this is the place to go. It's crazy. Right here, I'm with my brother, Joni. So brother, uh, could you explain a little bit about who you are and what this event has got to this year? My name is Juni Samsi. I am from Mindanao Global. We are the exclusive distributor of Total Lubricants in Davao. And we've been handling this race for four years now with our friends from Classic Car Club, headed by Mr. Willy Torres. So this is a record-breaking event. Just four years ago, they had 85 participants, which was already a great turnout when Total got involved in its marketing. And now, four years later to this date, they have 128 attendants. So this event is just growing year on year. It's so exciting. And how many categories have we got? We got four. We got Class C, Class B. We have also Class A. And then the fastest car will be running around 4 p.m. today is the Quick 8. But you've got a class for everyone, so if you're yeah. just a regular rider, yeah. you could come into a class, just bring your ride and go down the strip. There's even a brand new Mazda there <laughs> from, from the showroom that's running right that's now. That's running, okay. Yeah. This is the place to come. You don't that's have right. to have a super souped up ride, right? Yeah, no. Different categories for different we, strokes we for different old folks. Old cars. Old like cars. The box type, the Lancer box type, the Corolla. We have those those cars here running. It's pretty it, sweet. It's for everybody. So it's a real community event. That's correct. You know, with our key sponsors, Total Lubricants, represented by Mindanao Global, they have really been responsible for growing this event for the past four years. And it's such an honor to be a part of this marquee event here for our city. It's so important to represent what's going on in Davao. So this is the place to be, guys. Davao City is really the hub and we are just blessed to be a part of it. So yep. anyway, should we get back to some of sure. our racers? So we can't do the fastest race in Davao without touching base with my good friend, can we? So right now, I'm back with the fastest man in Davao. And if you're wondering who this guy is, well, let me show you the first time that I met him and how we crowned him the fastest man of Davao. Check out the link somewhere up here or down there. Anyway, let's get back to him. We're, we're reunited again, right, Garo? Yes. Reunited like brothers. So anyway, I want to get a photo of this because today you're going to race again in the afternoon, right? Uh, we're planning to break some records again. Oh, yeah. did you hear that? He's planning to break some records again. Yeah. So today's the day. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Let's pray for this brother. All right. Anyway, we'll keep an eye on him and his team. Yeah. Bro, great to see you. I'll see you around. So let me take a moment to introduce you to whom some might say is the godfather of drag racing here in Davao City. Mr. Torres, I heard that you're 
been into sports cars and racing for a number of years. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? And in 2003, we started hosting events, uh, these drag racing events, which is during the Hatayawan. Yeah, we call it the Hot August Races. So now this is a one-eighth mile, one -eighth but you started off with a quarter yeah, mile quarter track, mile, quarter mile track. Right here in the Crocodile Park. Yeah. It's a great uh, yeah. showcase for Mindanao, for Davao City, Davao, yes, yes. to show that we here, as Davaoenos, have got a lot to yeah, offer yeah, lots, yeah, lots to the racing yeah. world. Yeah. We will have a quick eight uh, race here, the eight fastest cars. We're racing uh, this afternoon around four o'clock. Okay. And it'll be fun to watch because there will be a lot of people and people will be betting. <laughs> so it's this, just, it's just like a cockpit. It's, huh? <laughs> so it's, it's the tradition yeah, here, right here, yeah, yeah, so that's and it's be been fun. going for a long yeah, time. Yeah, and yeah, do, yeah. do you, I take it, will you be racing today or just no, relaxing? No, no, I'm, I'm relaxing because I'm part of the organizer. Before I used to race. Uh, I got you. I used to race uh, in a Camaro. And okay. An Evo, and an Evo. And an Evo. So you're a Camaro and an Evo rider. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. During this event, you don't only get to witness some seriously fast cars going down the strip but you can also check out some serious eye candy. Woo, it's amazing. This is my car, this is an MGB. This is a 1972. Wow, uh, this is beautiful. MG, MGB, it's a, British, it's a British car. Absolutely. It's a British car, so. And wonderfully restored, it yeah, looks yeah, like. Yeah, it's fully restored and I have joined the, they, we have here a car rally called the Tour de Cebu. Oh, I got you. The okay. Tour, that's, that's a car rally every year in Cebu in uh, October. So I, I joined twice already. Wow. So. so this car, you go touring around Cebu, yeah, Cebu. with this ride. Yeah, so we, we from Cebu, Cebu, then we cross to Bohol and there's the... And wow. They, they, and it's, it's a three-day rally. It's 1,000 kilometers. So this survived 1,000 kilometer rally. And it's twice. still running. Yeah, still running. And it's 1972. Oh, <laughs> Touch metal, it's still good, <laughs> yeah. you know? This is a beautiful classic British yeah, yeah. rod. Yeah, yeah. These fast eye candy cars that are available, well, not really available, but for you to enjoy, are things like a Porsche GT3 RS, fully race mod ready to take you down this trip. You can race this anywhere, anytime. We got some American muscle representing with a Dodge Challenger. Ooh, sweet rides. We even have Bumblebee, a Transformer representative here in our event. It's called Bumblebee, but it's a Camaro. It's a fast ride, I'm telling you. You know, so you'll notice there's a movie theme going on here. We have Iron Man's ride. You know, the Audi R8, Psh, pretty crazy. We have Japanese sports cars appearing as well. The Mazda MX-5, sweet ride. And you know, you can't have a fast event without the Japanese showing some muscle. There's a couple of Nissan GTRs pushing out about 560 horses. Woo! Scary. And once again, with the movie theme going on, these GTRs are considered the Godzilla of the racing community. Okay, so we got Tony Stark and we got Godzilla yeah, here. And, uh, oh my goodness, all we need now is King Kong. King Kong. Who, who's got the King Kong ride? Is that, is that? I don't see any car in King Kong. Well, maybe I could fill in the King Kong gap one of these days, you know. We'll get something else, but... Uh. So let's get into a little bit of a story time with the godfather of racing of Davao, shall we? I started with the drag racing here. Uh -huh. Even when I was in college, we do a lot of street racing. Uh, okay, so back, so all the way back, it's yeah. in your it's it's in your blood, in your system. And when we organize uh, uh, legal drag racing here, I, I raced for uh, from 2003 to 2006. Wow. And I also raced in Cebu, I also raced in Manila. So you really raced all around the yeah. nation. Yeah, then uh, after uh, in 2011, I started joining the circuit racing and uh, road racing in Manila. Okay. The, the GT, the Philippine GT Championship. Wow. And, uh, do you still do that or? Yeah, I stopped in the GT Championship already. Uh, but uh, I joined last, this year, I joined using a classic uh, Mini. Oh wow, the classic small mini. Yeah, 1967. So movie. that reminds me of another movie, yeah. you know, yeah, with the, the Italian job. The Italian job. Fortunately, <laughs> I, I won the race. Oh, that's nice. In, uh, in, 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 wow. I guess uh, racing circuit. God. Hey, I don't, I don't know if it's just luck, <laughs> Mr. Torres. I think yeah. that this is uh, yeah. part of your yeah. uh, heritage, and you put a lot of effort into yeah. this. Yeah, racing is. Uh, for me, it's, uh, I, I love the adrenaline rush in, uh, 
Uh, really. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, so. uh -huh. And do you only stick to four wheels or do you go to two wheels as I'm well? Only four wheels. Just I'm, a four wheeler. I'm, I'm, nice and stable. Personally, I'm scared of motorcycles. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did I hear that right? Did he just say he's scared of motorcycles even though he goes down the drag strips? What's up with that? Yeah, Why? but you ride so fast yeah. in these cars. How could yeah, that be? I don't know. I still have a phobia because when I was a kid, I had a, I had a motorcycle accident. And I, oh, that's I stuck in your mind, huh? Over, have a lot of, uh, so you, you, you gave yourself a little uh, bit of yeah, a fresh skin yeah. graft. Uh, but the, the worst part of it, my father got so angry and he spanked me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that's never left you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, you, you, can, you cannot spank your children. Uh, no, no, no. In, uh, during our time. Uh, yeah, we always get the bill. <laughs> <laughs> old school. The old school, that's right. No, parenting is... Mm, uh, it's just not like the good old days, eh? Total has been very supportive of us for the past four years. So. It's fantastic. Well, this is amazing. Mr. Torres, thank you. this has nice been you. Thank you for uh, taking the time to just share your story and it's inspirational. You know, for Ray's Davao, I really love to hear the stories of people making a difference for our community. Being a Phil Am, I'm a double Wenyo. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a proud double Wenyo right here. You know that. You know, my mother's Filipino and so I'm proud to just say, look, look at the Philippines, look at Davao. You know, oftentimes yeah, in the West, we, they look at Mindanao especially yeah, as, a, as a danger zone. Area, no, it's not but look, I mean, fear. everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Yeah, There's a lot of things going every, on. Everybody, everybody's smiling. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, They're and, all smiling. and the people of the Philippines are yeah. beautiful people. Yeah, and yeah. I just, you know, and this is another uh, individual that I just want to say, look, we have here such a variety of folks uh, doing amazing things in our city. And I couldn't be more proud to be a, a Davaoeno. So, sir, thank you. Thank you for your yes, time. Sir. Thank you. And Thank uh, you I guess it. we'll check out the uh, yeah, race. Let's check out the race. Obviously, you can't get to an event like this without getting down to some serious business. You know, that thing called hunger and eating. Check this out. I have got lechon, I've got chicken, I've got pancit, I've got rice. I'm here with the Davao Classic Sport Car Club. I'm here at the Classic 10, if you like. And we're just having down some lunch. One minute and a half Dude, for this is being laid out before. So anyway, this event just keeps getting better, you know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm just standing in the middle of the racetrack right now. As you can see behind me, Class C, Class B, and Class A are done. So now it's down to the quick ace. They're trying to get the fastest man in Davao to come back and prove he is the fastest man. He wants to break records today. That's what he told me earlier. So let's see what he does. He's just walking on, checking the track like he does, seeing how the floor will feel. But right now, it's the quick eight. It's what everybody's been waiting for. So let's see these guys go kick it. It's really hard to keep an eye on it because these guys are so fast. My drones, the cameras, they can't really keep up. But hey, this is called drag racing. It's speed. It's the fastest men here in Davao. His car is just coming. Check it out. Look. So right now they're just lining up for okay, the quick eight. The there's Papa and there's the son. Bro, good luck brother. Good luck. Bro, good to see you. This is the team right here. See these guys, they're killing it. Killing it. So. No. Well, neither did I. They were so fast, I couldn't keep up with them. Team Gary Domrique, the 
fastest man in Davao has got himself through to the finals. Can you feel the power? I know my ears were bleeding. But man, the smell of smoke, the sound of the engines, I'm telling you, this place is exciting. Woo! Okay, so now they're just trying to find out who's gonna take them on in the finals. So these two right now that you see here, the winner takes on the fastest man in Davao, Gary Domrique. So whoever gets that in this win will have to face up Gary. I feel bad for them because my ears are rocking. It is so loud here, it's crazy. But anyway, let's see who gets this and whoever has this has the pleasure of fighting Mr. Gary Domrique. I know I would want to, but this is exciting. This is what everybody came out to see. You see the crowd? Okay. They're hyped, hyped. I got my drone, drone. Here we go, watch this. So the anticipation is on. The, there, there's a burning rubber and fuel. I can just smell it. My ears are burning hot. It's so, it's so loud. But right now we're just waiting for the final race. Gary Domrique is going to race the person that, to be fair, I, I think I feel bad for them because he is blazing a trail today. But uh, we're just about to launch into the final race of the Quick Eight. So. Anyway, the crowd is hot. The crowd is getting what they wanted. There's been some upsets and there's been some just, yeah, we expect that to happen. But anyway, this is the quick eight. The final is right here. Let's do this. earlier were answered. Not only is he still the crown king, but he stayed safe. Which, you know, nobody got hurt here today, so pretty awesome. Let's get back to the celebration, shall we? All right, so hot off the press, still undefeated, is our man Gary Domrique, the fastest man in Davao. So let's go see if we can take him away from the crowds and just kind of talk to him, because the champ, the champ is still, Bro, I gotta give you some congrats. So brother, come over here, come over here. Over here, over here. So I'm Gary Dumbrique, I'm still the fastest man in the world. That's right, so this brother did it. Congratulations, that was exhilarating. Yeah. All right. Thanks for that, all right. He's just about to grab hold of his trophy, right? So you're gonna stand on number one. So let's just watch this man get on the podium. Let's do this. For 2019, of the Mr. Gary, the of Team Classic, here we're receiving three trophies. He put eight trophies, the Colombia Cup and the Sonic Gun Sun Cup, plus 20,000 pesos cash. And a one great man gift certificate. Congratulations, Mr. Guy Dorique of Team Classic. Once again, give it up for Mr. Guy Dorique of Team Classic. So, you know, what an awesome experience, and I'm so glad to take you along with me on this journey. 
But I just want to encourage you with something. Today we watched the fastest men and women here in Davao City running a race that lasts all of like six, eight or nine seconds. But perhaps I want to encourage you to run the race of life. I want to challenge you today that maybe life is more than just your daily grind. You know, God has given you this breath in your lungs today. Let's use it for His glory. Let's run the race for the long term, the finish that goes beyond just these quick wins. You know, it's so good to celebrate quick wins in life, but life is so much more than what we are today. Our life is made for eternity. I want to challenge you with this scripture, and it says this in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. Each and every one of us has a race that God has set before us, and it's for His glory, and He will empower you and give you everything you need for this race of life. If only we would submit and follow Him. Anyway, today, folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Raise Davao, where we raise the profiles of groups, characters, and individuals doing awesome things in our city. But perhaps today, why don't you take the race of life and give it to God and say, God, I submit myself to you today, and I run this race for your glory. In whatever area or field of life you find yourself in, use it as a tool of worship unto God. Anyway, I'm Wood, and until next time, keep running the race of life. See you soon. Take care.